Hi everyone, I'm coming to you from my bedroom today. I uh, have a migraine. Um, I have celiac disease and I uh, had some gluten on Wednesday by accident and I have a migraine, but um, I've learned to cope with them because I used to have chronic migraine for two and a half years. But anyway, what I wanted to do today was to show you my planning system, show you um, my stickers, just kind of a, this is mainly what I use video. Um, so this year, what I've used is an A6 Techo and a Hobonichi Weeks. Both of these planners um, the covers that I have are from Print Pression. This is a Print Pression Weeks cover, and this is an A6TN cover. It's at its max, as you can see, but I really love this. I've loved this planner. I have been most consistent this year with these two planners. I used to be a ring planner. And I think what didn't work for me with rings is I constantly jumped in and out of different inserts and different ring planners. And I was never, ever, I never fully stayed in one. And I think what a notebook planner makes me do personally is to stick with it and to stay in that one notebook so that at the end of the year I will have um, one notebook that I can put away. I know with rings what I did was I would go from a pocket rings planner to a personal to an A5 wide. Um, so many different sizes. I, I loved all of them. And so I made myself at the beginning of 2022, I made myself, I told myself I'm going to stick with this planner. I think I actually may have wrote that on January 1st. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, right here. Spend more time really utilizing my planners. Stick with this Techo. Um, I also wrote it on January 1st. I also want to stick to this planner for all of 2022. Can I do it? And I did it. I did say I wanted to find my passion for running again. Didn't do that, which is a bummer. I was an avid runner for many years ran four half marathons in five months, but I have arthritis in my feet. Woe is me, right? But anyways, just didn't stick. I did. I just didn't find my passion for it again. Um, but my passion for this planner definitely stuck. And same for this Hobonichi Weeks. Made this little sticker book to keep all my extra Hobonichi Week stickers in it so that when I'm in the moment or if I'm out and about, I can grab a week sticker and use it. It was just, I love these little, someone gifted these to me and I love them. <clears throat> but I really stuck with this planner also and I'm thrilled that I did because it's just chunky enough. It's, I love it. I have to update this a little bit. Um, I've been a little bit behind in my planning this week because of my gluten exposure, but I've loved, loved, loved this planner. So I'm kind of switching things up a little bit for next year. So if you look in here, some of my pages that I have journaled in are like super full. 
So what I wanted to do was, I wanted to go to a B6, and I'm using the Aura Style Annie Plans. I covered a B6 notebook in some scrapbooking paper that I love. Covered the edges with washi. So that's in here if I need to jot something down super quick. This is going to be my journal memory keeping planner. Um, has this cute Lauren Phelps cover on it. I'm not so thrilled with this cover. I've only taken this out of this cover once. Well, I had another one in it and I messed it up badly so I needed to purchase another one. And um, But there is a tear here in this cover so I'm really not happy with that. I mean, they are super thin so maybe I should have been more gentle with it, I guess, but for the price you pay for these covers... I'm disappointed in it. But anyways, let's move along. I sound like I'm complaining a lot in this video, and that is so not me. I'm a super positive, upbeat person. But um, So what I've done so far in this is I have set up the weeks. I mean the months, I'm sorry. Part of what happens when I have a gluten exposure, I have a lot of neurological dysfunctions from gluten, Part of what I what happens to me when I have an exposure is I have a hard time finding words. Um, so bear with me. Um, I forget where I'm, what I'm talking about, and I have a hard time finding words. But anyways, um, I used a December. Yes, this is the December kit from Planet Pizzazz. So I used this in the January calendar. These are See Amy Draw Holidays, correct? Is that what that is? See Amy Draw Holidays? Yes. This is See Amy Draw Holidays. These are also See Amy Draw Days of the Week. She has them sized exactly for this planner. My friend Kristen from Plymouth Pizzazz also did all of these monthlies for me. So these are just dots that I added the dates onto. Kristen is making me numbers because I'm really not, I hate my handwriting. And so I wanted, I, I think that I want, I'll take these off. These are just washi dots. They'll be super easy to come up. And I'm going to add numbers that are printed. And it has these blank pages in between. And then this is my February calendar. This is another Plan with Pizzazz journaling kit, a large journaling kit. <clears throat> I love these flowers. I think this was October. And then March, I added some pet tapes in here. April, I used a rub on here and then added this pet this girl pet tape, which I love. I think I'm going to order more of these. These are from Paper Game Co. on Etsy. She has, or they, I should say, they have an amazing website. I don't know if they're male or female, or it doesn't really matter, I guess, but um, they have an amazing, they have like 250 rub-ons, and I want to get more of these paint splotches. I just love these watercolor splotches. I love these. I think what I'm going to do for these blank pages in between is I might do my highlights for the month. I might add photos in here after the month, and I might add highlights of the month. I'm not positive, but that's what I think I might do. And then here's May. More pet tape on here. June. I love Amy's. It, that's her. That's her own personal font. That's her hand lettering. July. More pet tapes. 
So these pet tapes are also from um, Paper Game Co. You can buy loops on their site, which I love to do because I'd never use a whole, I would never use a whole roll. So these are the clear pet tapes. I think what I've decided is I like the washi ones so much better because you can't see them on the page. I mean, obviously you can see them more because of the the light, but I think I really like the washi tapes ones better. September, I want to add more coffee to this one. October. November. Love this one. So again, this is the washi tape ones. You can't even see the edges of them. So I really think I like that better. Our 31st anniversary will be November 6, 2023. This is December. My friend Kristen gave me this one. And then I made this. <clears throat> so this is See Amy Draws journaling card that she adds into her all of her orders. This is her freebie. I added a tab to the top and then I laminated it. And then I'll just use this as a page marker and as a pencil board. I did a huge haul. I did a huge order with her. She had a release, a books release, and I ordered this tote. I'll tag her Instagram. I ordered this tote, has this pocket on the inside with C. Amy Draw on it. And then I got this pouch. Right now it has my, my clean dot markers in it. And then I'll take everything out and show you what I got from her. I'm gonna have to do this one handed, so bear with me. I have a tripod on my desk. I'm obviously not at my desk right now, so. So on Amy's website, you can choose to get white sticker paper or the clear mat. I like to order the clear mat. Can I get all this out? I did. Okay, so all of this is from her, her latest release, and it's all books. And Baymax is her favorite character. She used to do all Disney stuff, and she's kind of branched out a little bit, but she still adds in lots of little characters. I <laughs> love this. And that's also a freebie from her. And this is a freebie. She always hand letters a tag for you. I love this one. This is obviously going to go into my reading journal, which I'll show you after. This was not part of, these were not part of her newest release, but I just added these in to this package. So it's this. Look at the, how cute that bookshelf is. The detail in this is pretty incredible. And then I got the mini version of it. Boba, reading a book. How could I not? love and then this was a kit but I wanted just the just this page so this and this went together as part of the kit but I just wanted the deco and then what's this page checklists and more so obviously I had to get two of these Obviously. 
And then I had to get more bookshelves. So that is my haul from See Amy Draw. Let's see, what else can I show you? I said that I was going to show you. Oh, that's right. I'm going to show you. So I've already showcased this. This is my books journal in a Foxy Fix cover. I've already shown this. And I believe that I've shown... I have. I've shown my weeks for 2023 in this file effect Safino. Because I'm going to use it as a wallet. This is going to be what I throw in my bag when I go places. It's going to be my list. It's going to be my keeping track of everything. I do need to add what I did for me 365 list. A lot of you gave me some really amazing ideas to add things into the back and I need to add another sticky note um, so I can add more into my back pages. I don't believe that I have added anything in since my last video, so I don't really need to show any of that. But I did want to show you my, this is my, my planner caddy. It's actually a diaper caddy. One of my daycare moms gave this to me, which I'm so thrilled about. All of these sticker books in this back area I made myself. All that it is is just cardstock scrapbooking paper that I laminated. I have a fellow's punch, a spiral punch, and I put sticker paper in here. And all this whole book, it's literally filled up. It's filled all the way to the back. This whole book is extra kit stickers. So when I am setting my planner up for the week, I usually on Sundays do all of my setups. I'll grab this. If I'm using a kit, obviously I'll use the kit first. Um, but if I'm not using a kit, if I'm trying to do a use your stash kind of thing, I'll grab this and I'll set up a week with this because this is crazy how much leftover kit stickers we can have. And then I made all of these a while ago. These are all... So what I did was I put what shop these extra stickers are from. This I didn't, but I don't know what this is. Oh, this is all extra. So this was when I was getting from a f probably four years ago, a sticky club kit. This is all my extras from the sticky club. And then there's a couple of kits in here that I never used that I put in here. And then what's this one? Oh, this is all baby stuff. And then what's this sticker book? Oh, this was all freebies. So I started a page for each shop for freebies, which I never followed through with, so I can easily take those out. And I can put all of these in my extras kit, my extras sticky book, sticker book, and then I can use this one for, I don't know, maybe icons. I've got this whole... Rose Colored Days book that's packed full of icons. These are all the extras. And then this is all icons. So maybe what I'll do is I'll take all of these off of the sticker sheets and put those into this sticker book. That'll be a task. Maybe that's something I can actually do today while I'm just sitting in bed all day. <laughs> that might be a really good project for me to do. And then these I made with so these are for all of my Happy Scrappy stickers. I made this one out of her envelopes. She puts all of her things in envelopes. So this is all my extra stickers from Happy Scrappy kits. So that I can look at this and know that it's just Happy Scrappy. And then I made an extra, um, I'm PRing for her, so I will have, I'm gonna be using a lot of her stuff in 2023. <clears throat> excuse me so these will definitely be loaded up with her stickers and then 
this is all of my Playing With Pizzazz stickers. Obviously, you can see her journaling kits are my favorite. Um, so that's what this whole sticker book is. It's full to the brim. These are her larger journaling kits. These paint swatches are my all-time favorite, so she sent me a thick chunk of those. So I have all that in here. This one is full of randomness and see Amy draw. And so this is Magic Sticker Co. Um, but see Amy draw and <clears throat> just a bunch of random stuff. But then I do have in it my bigger Plan with Pizzazz journaling kits, which I need to transfer those into here. And it also has in my Bare Necessities stickers, a PR for Megan also. And I love her stuff. It's just, her kits are gorgeous. I love the boho hippie kind of vibe to her stickers. Here, so I obviously need to add this stuff in here, um, and then I have hobo kits in there, hobo kits in here, and here. This is Sticky Club stickers. I just joined Sticky Club again, so that's what's in here. And then this is Faded Chronicle. I just started subbing to her. Stickers also. This is her um, mini stationery kit, and I just I love this. My newest one. So this is October. Yes, and the November kit should be coming in soon, and I'll have to figure out a sticker book for that also. But anyways. This is today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I have a lot of new subscribers and I so appreciate all of you. I'm really trying to grow my platform. So if you liked this, if you could please give me a thumbs up and share on whatever platform you use. Um, and if you have a lot of YouTube videos or you're a YouTuber also, I will definitely subscribe. So hit that subscribe button. I would love that. Thanks. See you in my next video.